all right hello everyone welcome back to the channel we are back in the bridge curse 2 we are picking up right where we left off uh, this will be the second video for this game uh, we were just caught by one of the spirits in the elevator and it looks like we'll be continuing on from someone else's perspective in the story uh, so we're gonna get onto that and see what it entails and if you know you're liking the videos please leave a like uh, subscribe if you feel like doing so it really help out but we're gonna get right into this and thank you for taking the time to watch here we go oh that's so creepy who are, are we? we really gonna shoot oh. this thing this is serious shit Yeah, screw this stupid movie. Then we don't have to worry about these goddamn ghosts. Hey, oh. big shot director. What about your crazy, super viral dope-ass film? Now we're not even gonna shoot it? Oh. <sighs> Definitely not director material. Maybe you just do the marketing, Rich. Aw, but in America... Look... <sighs> whatever. What you watching? I just... I mean... It's nothing. Oh, someone's a little scaredy cat. Why the hell would you agree to shoot a horror film? Yo, nah. You know how long I was in the States? We don't believe that shit like you guys and worried about Doc. Mm -hmm. That's all. <laughs> I mean, look how freaked out he got after seeing those ghost hands. I was like, fucking hell yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Dude, how cool was that? So glad the gods told me to join you guys. <sighs> Gods? What the hell are you talking about? He said he dreamed about joining the club or whatever, so... <sighs> Did the dream, like, tell you if we were gonna finish the film? Uh... Let me ask my mustache. Who knows, tots? Well, dickhead, are we doing this or not? How long have we been working on this thing? Uh... <laughs> let's... let's do it! That viral trailer. With that interview. Cha-ching! Huh? huh? Interview? Interview? Did some part-time gig. Chill, chill. It was free. Got an interview out of it. That anchor from the news. The luscious Sulian. Oh. Nice, eh? <laughs> oh? <laughs> She's so hot, dude. <coughs> If we're gonna do this, we need to do it right. This thing needs to be perfect. Got it? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we've got about two weeks until the first screening. We've got to shoot, edit, and do post-production. Set the prep work done for shooting before 11, okay? Mr. Director, sir? Okay. I'm gonna make the diagram. Once I'm done, we'll start the meeting. Where's the positioning diagram? And the figurines? I think one's in the storage room. And the school newsletter took another for an interview. Got it. Thanks. Okay. Nothing around here. Let's see. Info. Proposal for the Hex Building. Written by Richie Chen. Director, Senior Department of Finance, Richie Chen. Screenwriter. Producer, design, junior department of design, a high, editor of cinematography, sophomore, department of veterinary medicine, Wu Zina. Okay. Okay. Goal for the Carnival of War, the film club will film an adaptation of the Wen Hua University, University's 1960 Dogren murder, with the goal of attracting new students to join the club. Richie Chen notes, hoping to have five plus students in the club. Costs considering fundraising, but the risk is too high. We think it's best to budget wisely and focus on effectiveness. Richie Chen notes, cost is covered. Additional notes, shoot a trailer to serve as a promo video and proof of concept, then release it to see how it is received. So Richie Chen notes, tone and method of filming have already been decided. 
was locked. Okay. What's this? Movie script. Screenplay for the hexed building. Based on the script and desired atmosphere, a positioning diagram has been created to facilitate the movement of characters and confirm each scene. Scene 1. First meeting with Zhu Yi. Zhu Yi comes to pour tea for her father as she usually does. She is unaware that her father has planned for an unexpected encounter with a potential suitor that he has chosen for her. Yan Shu Wen is so shocked by Zhu Yi's beauty that he doesn't notice Zhu Wen Zhang enthusiastically offering him a gift. Yan Shu Wen is in instantly convinced that she is the white rose of his dreams. And again, I'm sorry if I'm butchering these names. Those are not from my native language, so apologies. Scene 2, A Good Wife. Zhu Yi, who lost her mother at a young age, was sent to a bridal academy in 1955 by her father, Zhu Wen Zhong. There, she learned sewing, aikibana, cooking, and other skills necessary to become a good wife and mother. She firmly believes that soon after her graduation, she will become an ideal bride, just as her father planned. Okay, scene three, Beauty and the Beast. Pampered from a young age, Zhu Yi continues to live, live in a comfortable little bubble after graduation, hoping to meet the perfect husband. However, Yan Shu Wen soon crosses paths with the naive girl, using work to get close to Zhu Wen Zhong and plotting something behind the scenes. Huh. It seems like that would be a pretty decent movie. Okay. Looks pretty damn good, right? <laughs> Yo, director. Go get that positioning diagram ready. What's up, man? I do, so we gotta get... Wait, the position diagram. I think the newsletter room said they had it. Okay. So at least we're not dealing with the hell. Crazy broken neck lady right now. And she just seems like an angry an angry spirit, so... Okay. But you don't have this figurine. Why is... the tone changed so much? 1960 Dollar and Murder. A news report from the time of 1960, thought and murder kept under tight wraps by the school newsletter administrators and once banned from being borrowed. Murder at Wen Hua. School, founder, school founder's daughter, Zhu Yo Yi, is dead. Ex, expatriate? Architect? Yan Shu Wen, missing after murder. A recent love filled murder on Wen Wah University's campus has left society in shock. The architect responsible for designing the new Darwin building is suspected of having an emotional dispute with the school founder's daughter in the parking lot where after he murdered her with a shovel and then fled. Holy shit. His whereabouts are currently unknown. Scroll down. The police are actively investigating and pursuing the suspect. According to official sources, another individual was also found dead at the scene. Another individual. Huh. Okay, can't get down that way. So I need to get some figurines. Okay, we don't have those. There's a little note right here I might want to look at. Whoa. Hmm. 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, I'm not, that's probably one of the scenes they kind of had notes on or something. So let's go. Where are those figurines at? Hmm. Maybe I missed the key point of information and just didn't notice it. Okay. And obviously it's just okay. I always tell us where they go. Okay, so she goes by the teapot. Glasses by the present. Right. Okay. I don't think I just read that. Okay. Oh, so we pick that up. And maybe that goes in here on this little like diorama thing. Okay, let's blue amulet and red amulet. Okay, we'll take that. Nice. Was me running there. I was like, "What? The, what just happened?" Okay. Okay. We got the key. We use it. So now that needs two figurines. Oh, I don't I don't like that. Don't like that at all. Let's see, let's see this this Carter proposal. Let's see the film film club's proposal centers around Lin Hua University ghost stories. After much discussion among club members, we settled on an adaptation of the nineteen sixty Dog Ren murder. Proposal 1, the Mad Ballerina. Legend has it that a major accident once occurred during the end of semester performance held by the dance department. Apparently a female student's eyes were pierced by a sharp object on the floor. Oh no. She was blinded on the spot and taken to the hospital. The next day she was found on the stage where she had hung herself. Occasionally students claim to have seen the ghost of a young woman practicing in the dance studio. They say if you disturb her practice, she will kill you. Additional notes. Too difficult. Can't find a ballerina who is willing to participate. I think this is giving us hints of what's to come. Uh huh. Okay. Found a shoe way. Figurine. That's creepy. Okay, campus ghost stories, the bathroom. A text detailing a bathroom related ghost story on campus. It's a popular book among Winhua students. Rumor has it that in the women's bathroom on one of the floors of the Dahlgren building, the sound of running water can occasionally be heard even when no one is inside. One day, a girl who was studying in a room nearby was so frustrated by the strike she burst into the bathroom. She immediately discovered that none of the faucets were running Turning to look at the stall, she gasped in horror as she saw four dangling, transparent dog paws swaying back and forth beneath the doors. Was that Pootie? Oh my god. What's up? That's a little black kitty cat. That's Pootie's arch nemesis, I'm assuming. 
but you can hear those outside noises. Okay. I'm assuming that's okay. Throw him in there. Hey. Okay. So I guess this goes, I wonder if anything else is unlocked. Just check down here, see if there's anything else we missed, just in case we end up jumping ahead into something. I want to explore while we have the time to. Okay, yeah, it's still locked. Okay. So I'm confident that's everything we can do at this moment. I wonder, I'm going to check see if we have stamina. At least right now, it doesn't seem like we do. Okay. Okay. Teapot present rose. Okay. So, first, camera will be here, facing the desk. Doc sits in the chair, and a High will be over there, pouring tea. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is to show Yo Yu's respect and admiration for her father. And then Wen Xiong is extremely satisfied with his daughter's manners and obedience. Yep. Okay, that's when I walk in. The first shot will be of my watch. Then the camera moves upward, giving us our first look at Shu Yuyi's face. You got that. His perverted gaze masking itself in twisted sophistication. <laughs> I've got chills just thinking about it. Hold up. Does Yuyi know what's going on at this point? Mm, no. Ah. Yoli's been coddled to death. She's one of those chicks whose father sent to an all-girls school when she was little. And even if she realizes he's a psycho, she can't do anything about it. <sighs> and to think this stuff actually happened, it's terrible. Huh? Poor girl. Hey, hey, what are you looking for? Hmm? I was just thinking... If Yan Shuen really is some wizard from hell, maybe Yu Yi's soul is still trapped in this very building, watching us. Ooh. <laughs> no way. Some people say they've seen her spirit roaming the building at night. Sick! Oh, uh, <clears throat> wait. I, I mean, I, I don't think we should film here. We should let her rest in peace. Agreed. Ooh. Killing her wasn't enough. That pervert had to keep her in his twisted web. Mm -hmm. All right, look, is this scene settled or what? We're introducing Wen Xiong and Yu Yi. Yep, that's basically it. And then Yu Yi takes the teapot out. And Shu Wen makes up some excuse to fall. <laughs> the fuck? What? You see or hear something? Idiot. Heard some weird noise from over there. Yeah, I heard somebody crying. Ugh. I'll go if you're too scared. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I am so not scared! I'll check it out! Let him go. Oh, I don't want to. Yeah, yeah. How about you go? No one? No. They're just gonna send me. Oh no. Oh, almost. But why? <laughs> oh, I don't want to. You want me to give up? Never! Oh, 
shit. I hope she doesn't hurt herself. Should have brought A high. She's got the damn key. Oh, man. Let's go home, bro. Oh, what the fuck? No. But why didn't they pick me? Why? Why? Don't. Don't you do it. <laughs> Sisters? <laughs> she doesn't need me. <laughs> be my cue to get the fuck out of here. Chucked this out the door. That's weird. There's only one set of keys. How'd they get in? Here, take this. Open the door and check it out. Mm. No. Oh my god. Wait, where'd the other guy go? Hello? Are you oh, okay? No. I, I I think you dropped this. Okay. Ballet championship trophy. Long forgotten trophy for a ballet championship. It's unclear who dug this out of the box. 1989 Asia Pacific Ballet Competition. You pink. Oh, what? Didn't mean to do that. Well? She's gone? Be quiet. No eating or drinking. Outsiders not allowed. Latecomers will be fine. Lock the door. Follow the rules. Oh, no. That's weird. All right, all right. Then let's get out of here. It's almost 11. We're running out of time. Ballerina crown. So, distinguished crown representing the position of principal dancer. Only a truly outstanding dancer is qualified to wear this crown and lead their ballet troupe through a brilliant performance. Okay. Let me finish looking. Made me come in here. Damaged photo. A torn picture of two ballerinas. Only one ballerina can be seen in what remains of the picture. The name Li Yu Ping has been crossed out and replaced with Li Yu Hong. Anything else in here of importance? Maybe a little secret? I'll know that she scratched the shit out of the walls. Guess we can't have anything else. What was What's that? up? Let's go. Oh, what's wrong with me? What are you mumbling about? Bizarre. No doors or windows. She just disappeared. I'd stop thinking about it if I were you. Huh? Why? You don't know? My classmates said all sorts of creepy stuff happened in that classroom, so they turned it into a storage. Didn't you look into a ton of campus ghost stories for this? How'd you not know? I... And you're just a junior. I suck. Ha, <sighs> more like gullible. I'm kidding, Rich. Aren't you studying finance? Why do you care? You're seriously laughing right now? I guess it's not that scary, huh? It's whatever. But your face. Damn, that thing is white. Can't stop looking at my face? I get it, I get oh, it. Oh, is that so? Okay. That was creepy. I just seen his poke his head out. I'm gonna look down this hall. Just in case. Find anything. Okay. I didn't think about.
about looking as we came down through here, so I'm just trying to make this quick. Okay. I think we're good. Just truck it along. So we walk in here. <laughs> I'd love to screw around with you idiots, but if we don't wrap this up before midnight, the main door's gonna close and we'll be stuck here uh, till morning. Uh, I could stay the night. Don't worry about the film. We got this. Yeah, we're supposed to leave Duran by midnight, but will we? We ain't kids no more. We can do whatever the hell we want. Break the rules, skip class. Whatever. We're free. You guys okay? serious? Mm -hmm. Yo, we've been preparing for this for like forever. And your script is absolute fire. So we got this. The important thing is, is that we're here together <laughs> with, with Doc too, of course. And we do this right. And that's why you spent all that cash to get this fancy equipment from the film club, huh? Uh, it's cool. It's from my dad's company. Won't cost a thing. Ooh, oh. Richie Rich. Why not just ask daddy to do it? Come on. This is actually fun. Those professionals are a total buzzkill. This is what I'm talking about. Am Hell I right? yeah. <laughs> this is what college is all about. Boy! Yeah! yeah. Boys, oh my God. Doc and I will set up the lights and furniture. Huh. Dummy, you go get the props. Yes, ma'am. I'll check to see if there's anything I need to set up. Go get the props. Prepare props for filming. Exorcism manual. Compiled by Wu Zinan, a disciple of the Taoist arts, known as the Little Prince of Exorcism, in the Department of Veterinary Medicine. Contains various methods for exercising ghosts. For example, if you find a friend who has been possessed, slap them with all your might to force out the yin energy. Or, if an incubus is haunting your sleep, shout vile curses at it from the sea of energy located in the Dantian Meridian price 50 bucks what oh, okay it's a teapot an exquisite teapot that Zhuyo Yuyi often uses for her Father T. Apparently, this was her mother's favorite teapot while she was alive. The film club specifically found a teapot with a similar floral pattern for the shoot. Okay. So. Let's figure out what to I'm assuming it wants me to set up the teapot. Okay. Character and casting records details the three character the three key characters the actors playing them and notes on the production for the hex building female lead character Xu Yu Yi actress Yu Hai Li uh, description the school's founders daughters and victim of the 1960 daughter and murder additional notes the high has dyed blonde hair so a short black wig will be needed for filming. Okay, male lead character Yan Shu Lin. Actor I cannot pronounce that one either. Uh, description architect of a Darin building and the culprit in nineteen sixty Darin murder. Additional notes need to custom make uh, Yan Shu Lin's jade pendant, but Richie Chin has already found someone to make it. P.S. Richie rocks the Caspar Doc. Key character 
Ju Lin Zhong, actor Hu Zinan, description, founder of the Wenhua University and father of Zhu Yi. Additional notes. We can use some funds to purchase Zhu Wen Zhang's retro glasses online. Since Doc doesn't have hair, we'll need a wig for him too. Well, you gotta wear a wig. Okay. Can't interact with them yet. So we're, okay, there's that. Info gift box that Zhu and Zhang has prepared for an important guest in order to highlight Zhu and Zhang's approval of Yashu Wen. The film club has added this scene to the script. Okay. So this present goes on the table. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. Maybe there's more? Okay, I don't see anything else over here. These are not these are the hardest puzzles, but... And just figure, just finding stuff sometimes is hard, especially when it gives you no context as to where they are at. What's up with all this jitteriness? Okay, might be my mouse. Okay, let's kind of get back. Let's see. Air props for filming. Okay. Count. Okay, so mission is in here. These are items. Let's see, revealed. Photo of Boy Lantern. So I'll look through some of this stuff. Let's see. Of the elevator. Okay, so there is stuff we can get. Mystery. Remnants of the past. Oh, so we did. I guess we missed some things in the beginning. Oh man. Okay. So there's got to be something else we need. We already read that. There's a mission in here, obviously. Some snacks. Nothing here. I should hit that or not. Eh. But you're right. Don't think we should have stayed there too long. Huh? Don't know why. Just the feeling. Standing by that door was creeping me out. Hey, hi. If you start getting freaked out, just let me know. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll wait here. Director. No, oh, no. So it wants us to go back down there. Uh, don't like it. Don't like it at all. Not sure I should just walk away. What? Oh, I don't 
like it in here. seeing anything else we can use. What's up? Close that. Oh, something popped up. Okay, it made it seem like I had to come back down here. I didn't see another prop or anything anywhere else. Okay. Let's get back down here. for filming. Okay. Just want me okay. Maybe just want me to set the cameras up. Of course, I can't go that way. the hell do you want me to do? Can't, okay, I can't do that. Okay, so I give her that. Sorry, that more messed sense. that up. I'm supposed to have the flower. Oh. Hmm? And ah. take this too. What is that? J just take it. Huh. Okay, thanks. Awful pushy. Okay. I gotta make sure. Hells yeah! Okay, let's get started. Hold up, where's my clipboard? Your clapper board? Alrighty, the hexed building, scene one. 
First time that Yan Shu Wen meets Shu Yu Yi. Take one. Three, two, one, action. Yu Yi. You're early today. Yes, father. Take a look at this. The design really is quite impressive. Born into a good family and an upstanding young fellow. He's actually only four years older than you. <clears throat> ah. Mr. Yam, this is my daughter, Shu Yu Yi. <sighs> Shu Yu Yi. Knock it off! Whoa. What the hell? <gasps> well, wait, I. Whoa. <laughs> It's fine, I'm fine. Maybe the doc's acting was so good it freaked me out. Was that you? Hey, Ridge. Huh? Come here. Oh. Uh. There's nothing on here. You weren't recording? Uh, I swear, I pressed record. That's weird. Let's just do it again. Oh. All right, take two. Three, two, one, action. Oh, you. You're early today. Yes, father. Take a look at this. The design really is quite impressive. <laughs> Born into a good family <laughs> and an upstanding young fellow. <laughs> Where'd you go? Holy shit. Holy shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, fuck. What the fuck? What the hell? No, no. was that and where am i hey hi doc where are you what fucking shit i better be dreaming bro i don't think you are oh no <laughs> oh where the fuck am i Stories I'll mention some elevator to hell or something. I shit, this is not good. I guess we'll go to whatever that one. Oh, no. oh no. holy fucking shit. I don't think we're supposed to be here. <laughs> Oh no. This is hopeless. Oh no, what the hell is going on? I don't want to go in there. Let's check down here real quick. This is not good. Fuck! <laughs> fuck. <laughs> is she just, just the head to the Valerina thing? No! <laughs> Doc! Is that you? Hey, hi? Say something! <sighs> Uh. <coughs> that 
old creep's not in his office today. <laughs> Doesn't let me play with the good stuff. Big stinky doo doo head. Who are you? Can you hear me? Next! Oh. Please introduce yourself, contestant. And where the fuck am I? Welcome to my little house of horrors. This is where I play. So you are? Me? Well, I'm a ghost. <laughs> the last one wasn't scared of me, but you, you're fun. Wait, the last one? You mean Doc or Ahai? Do you know where they went? But I'm not telling you. <laughs> Time for a little hide and seek. The rule is simple. If you win, I'll tell you where your friends are. If you lose, well... Well, well, well what? Try to find me. Try to find you. Let the games begin. You're it. <laughs> FPS shooter trophy. Okay. There's something special in this room. What's this? Info. A custom seven star sword USB. Manufa manufacturer has strongly stated this is merely a rip and does not have the power to slay demons or dispel evil, even if you see a ghost run. Computer and a USB? Okay, is it this one? Gotcha! Oh, the one with the handprints. Okay, I'm assuming. Difference in them is the handprints. Oh no. Hey. Huh? <laughs> what happened? Took the USB. Whoa, oh, what the hell? Whoa. It actually fucking works. Guess all that cheese shit is real. It's a pretty small ghost, but it's still a damn ghost. <laughs> that was too easy. Oh, okay, so that was way too easy. Psych! I can't believe you fell for that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yay! But I still won. Yes, I did! Fair and square! You said you would tell me where Doc and Ahai are! Huh. So what if I do? Do you know how many ghosts there are here? They're probably already dead as dirt. Hey, don't say that! <laughs> yep, there's a really scary ghost down there. <gasps> if he hears us... You don't want to play, just like that stupid old ugly fart. <laughs> there, there. <laughs> Go away. Hey. I said go away, Mimi. There, there. I want to say <laughs> I. <there>. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> This is definitely not a dream. If that doll was serious, I've got to find Ahai and Doc. Okay. All right. Yep. All right. So we got to 
find our friend. Okay. Do they want me to come? What is this? Oh, there's rules. Rules for Slappy's hide and seek. Game manual for Slappy's hide and seek LARP game. Gameplay, there's a big difference between the evil spirit's replica and the spirit itself. How to win. Find the ghost three times before the time runs out. Game piece is seven star sword. Game that tests both eyes and mind. Don't lose. Or you might end up possessed by an evil spirit. So, well, that was a. Uh, So apparently this ghost likes playing games. Is that a gaming club is has carefully prepared an, an immersive event designed specifically for the Carnival of Horror, Slappy's Hide and Seek LARP, description adapted from the classic urban legend, only hide and seek, date nine seven to nine fourteen location gaming club office. Think you can make it out alive. That's so creepy. Still moving. Okay. Do I need to go out of here? Or do I need to go over here? Let's go over here. Oops. Okay. Milk tea is often said that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. A large ice milk tea is fast breaks top seller despite the rumors that cause causes horrid butt bursting diarrhea. Clever marketeers that they are, the owners decided to leverage the rumor, introducing an even stronger recipe and promoting it with the now popular slogan, Milk Tea, it's due time. Oh my god, it's due time. I do want to read this, I kind of picked it up in a panic. Didn't know how long it has. First person shooter trophy for the 2016 first annual esports competition, jointly organized by students from various schools. Top three contestants, usernames, and their uni universities are engraved on the back. Okay. Let's check this. Oh, no. Hold on, before we go out there. Let's, what was it? Ah. Okay, ceramic fuse. Can I not? Info appears to be a ceramic fuse using high voltage equipment. In any case, it's unclear why the gaming club would have any use for this. Okay, do we not need that? Okay, uh, cannot be used at this time. Okay, let's, let's go out here to look around a little bit. Let's see if we. Okay, there's nothing left over here. I didn't know if there was a little hidey hole over there. Okay, so we need to go out the other way. Missed the little green, like, fairy thing we seen earlier. I'll follow the mysterious Is line. Is another ghost? Is that the soul Doc was talking about? Shit, I'm gonna try and explore a little bit. Okay, so there's another box right there. Looks like it's trying to take me somewhere. Okay, before we Whatever. Um, Not like there's anywhere else to go. Okay, there's another one right here. Okay. I'm assuming we can't get in here in these. Uh I don't think oh, that's uh, no. why is it taking me here? Most of the ghost stories are about school bathrooms. And this is the girls' room. Weird. Do not enter. Oh, no. There's an actual turd in there. Sugar daddy poor dad. What? Rich pop poor pop. This, this book is claimed as one of the most influential texts on investments and financial management in the 21st century. It guides the reader step by step from fixed deposits to investing and ultimately to find a wealthy financial mentor in life. The stated goal of the book is to help the reader enter the upper class and achieve financial freedom. OK. 
Okay. I don't know why they feel the need to put an actual turd in the toilet, but, you know, it is what it is. Use a drain cleaner. I don't want to open that door. Who knows what's in there? I don't see anything else of use in here. Here we go. Shit! What about all that stuff with Sadako and Bloody Mary? No. No, no, no way! Oh, fuck. Don't you fucking do it. Fuck! Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. I can do this. I got this. I'm a man, goddammit. Oh. oh! Doc? Doc! It's me! Doc? Ah! Ah! Huh? Oh, you again. Oh. Uh, boring. Huh? It's me. <laughs> <laughs> What did you... The one before me was... Uh-huh. And if you lost, I'd have taken you for a spin, eh? Ooh, how about I have you two fight? That'd be fun! <laughs> oh. oh, his hey. mustache was... What'd you do that mustache for? was fake, so... Uh, huh? Oh, sorry. Doc said if something possessed him, just slap him and it would... What bullshit? Doesn't his great uncle run some temple or something? Huh. That ain't gonna work. Duh. After that geezer with the lamp came 30 years ago, no one can do anything to us or him. Whoa, whoa. You mean there are others like us? What do you care? You're gonna die, no matter what. <laughs> oh no. Huh? Where'd that green thing go? Huh? It's over there. <gasps> That's weird. Where'd it go? You know that thing? Yeah. Mustache used by Doc in the in the film club production of the Hex Building, where he plays Zhu and Zhong. Its thick and curly design successfully adds a mature professional look, serving as a soulful accessory for the actor's transition from young adult to middle-aged man. It took me to find you. I mean, Doc. Oh, come on, let's follow it. Okay. I don't know where it went. Nope, we have to go. Okay, can't go that way. Oh. <sighs> Scared of me? Shame on you. You're oh. kidding, right? You're a doll. Oh. Wait, how long did you say you've been here? And you can't get out? All that stuff about reverse trigrams and trapped ghosts. It's all real? Uh, yeah. If I knew that, I wouldn't have come in here to play. Forget about that. I think that green blob's weaker than me. I, I want to go see what it's doing. <laughs> Show me. Okay, there it is up there. Okay. Check around the room, see if there's anything. Anything of use in here. Doesn't look like it. Ah! Get off me. Okay. Goofs, gaffs, and giggles. A man who lived alone in the apartment building was notified that he was going to die the next day. After rushing to get his affairs in order, 
he awaits the reaper with a grim heart. He waits and waits, but the reaper doesn't show up. The following night, the reaper appears before him, and the man shouts out furiously, What the hell took you so long? With hurried breaths, the reaper replies, Sorry, the elevator's being repaired. It, it took forever to get up the stairs. Okay. Treasure hunt gameplay guide. Set out on booty filled LARPing adventure. Decipher the code on the treasure map and successfully locate three hidden treasures to claim your prize from our staff. Shh. We'll let you in on our uh, let you in on a little secret. Anyone who beats the game gets whatever they want. Okay, so who's going first this time? How about our friend from the dance department? Yes, really? Anywhere? What? If you believe in the Dark One, he will give you power. Draw the seal and write your wish on the paper. And then? Say the wish of us. Dark One, Dark One, one. Your, your presence, presence is, is requested. What the fuck? Can't see what this is. Hey, is there something you want to say to me? You can't speak, loser. Okay, there's a key in there. Ah, <sighs> but it's trapped, just like me. Poor thing. Save me. Uh, but I don't know who you are, and I don't know how to help you. Ah. <laughs> okay. Taking that key. Info. Key specially crafted by the board game club for opening the treasure box. It can open any treasure box with, with this specific lock, enhancing the immersive experience of a LARP game. Okay, so those little lock boxes. Ooh, a treasure hunt! Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay. So I'm assuming the little mark right there is where we're at. There's one in the game room. Okay, so it's the okay. Uh, this guy anything? Okay, let's. Unhighlighted. Okay, so we're gonna go treasure hunt gameplay. Okay, so it's wanting to give us. Oh, what's this? Yeah. This is where my friend lives. Oh, fuck me. Oh, oh, thank God. Oh. What's up, buddy? Oh, I don't have anything for him. <laughs> no, let me give you something. Let's 
so I can find something to give him. Maybe he'll give me like a. What's that? Oh, let's see. One job. Okay, can't give that to him. Why are you all in my business? Okay. Huh. Okay, so that's four. So that's going to be. Also, oh, I probably don't do it. So, four, four, one. So, I never walk back. That doesn't make any damn sense. Let's see. Four one and then probably brute force the last one. Oh. Four one two. How would that Special plate with arrows drawn on it. Rumor has it this is one of the ritual mediums used to communicate with a spirit on campus. It was hidden inside the treasure box from the treasure arc, treasure hunt arc game, and seems to be connected to some secret that the board game club is hiding. Okay, so how would that have made two? So that's axe, bow and arrow, whatever that is, down, to the question mark thing. That, how would that have made it to? That's just that, that. Oh, I didn't follow it, or I I was stupid. So it goes across the top, down, across the middle. Then it goes to the arrow again, the bone arrow, and then it's across. Okay, so yeah, I was just looking up. Oh, did not mean to do that. I was just looking at it wrong. Okay, got that. There's one down here. No, oh, Jesus. So arrow equals one. There's question mark thing or staff equals times 
the... Oh no, what is this thing wanting? Of course, I throw math and everything in here. Uh, so I'm assuming. This is one like it doesn't see. Okay, let me do check something real quick. Come on. Scroll puzzle. Defeat the powerful monster. Find the number of people that correspond to each class. What? Defeat the powerful monster. Find the number of people that corresponds to each class. I thought his hand was just spinning around in a circle. <laughs> Alright, so. Just one arrow. There's three of the staff looking things. Two of the wing cross. And one axe. Okay, so it's going to be. Three, two, three, two, one. That isn't max. I'll quit doing that. Three, two, one. Can't be. Okay, yeah, that's not it. Okay. Okay, let me see. Let's see. There's one bow and arrow. There's three stabs. Two of the cross and wings. Something's not right. Or it could be one, two. Oh, okay. I think it's, I think it's four, four, two, one. I see there's the, the swords on there. The axe has that little weird symbol above it. And then the, uh, I guess those are healers. Right there's two healers, so it's four. F so, heck, I don't know why I keep doing that. So, four, two, one. Okay. One, two, four. Is that not okay? Hmm. Trying to figure this. 
this out. Can't be two one four. I don't know if I even tried that. simple. I know it's something simple, but out to two four one. Maybe that's what it is. Says. Okay, so A is the little wings. I guess those are healers. So it shows two. Two. Th oh, I'm um, two three one. That nah, seems way too easy. note info a bundle of blank papers used for writing notes rumor has it that this is one of the ritual mediums used to communicate with the spirit on campus it was hidden inside the treasure box yeah okay okay hey bro can you move thank you I don't remember there being another one down here. But I may be wrong. Just want to take a quick look real quick. See if there's anything I missed in here. Ah. Ooh. Game Boy. A very old handheld gaming device. It, very old? Jesus. It appears to be from the 90s and uses cartridges to play games. Talking the power switch doesn't do anything, so it definitely ran out of power. But why was this thing in the women's restroom? I'll quit going back to that screen. Okay. So we still got the one in the game room. I wonder if I can, because... I wonder if I can give him a different item and he can exchange it out. I think that may be what it is. That's it. Oh, I just said... It's like a little banner popped up on the screen. Oh, I guess it's just... Okay. Let me see. What's up, buddy? Ah, so I can give him something. It's probably gonna be this. You don't like it? Oh, where are you going with it, buddy? Secrets. Oh my god. Tun Town. An RPG produced and released by Soft Star Entertainment in 1998, which in the gaming culture is essentially the Stone Age. The storyline follows the adventures of a young boy named Lele or Lili, uh, who leads the cats and dogs of town on various quests. Is this from an old gaming club or something? Nice. So that's what he does. You give, you find certain items, you give them to him, and he'll exchange them. I can't use that. Oh, oh, here's the treasure hunt thing. Okay. So the axe equals one. So it's three. Six, that's ten. Okay. Oh, no. It's 
So they all have to equal 10, is from what I'm assuming. Gotta get them in the right order. Of course, when I'm smudged out. Assuming that's not the bow and arrow, so let's see. So if I do, so that'll be two. It's trying to go for A right now, so two. A should be the, so it should be four. B should be three. Okay, four, three. Four, three, two. Bloody saucer. Yeah, sticky red liquid. Hmm. Info. A plate filled with sticky red liquid. Rumor has it that this is one of the ritual mediums used to communicate with the spirit on campus. It was hidden, so yeah, look up because we read that. What was that? I don't fucking know, bro. I don't want to find out either. Never seen that room before. Let's go check it out. No, no. Even you didn't know about this. Come on. Okay. No, that that looks like just like a bad room. Bad bedroom. where we heard people talking from earlier. Secret document. Okay, at first we just wanted to play with a Ouija board. We asked the entity many questions and it seemed to know everything, like some sort of omniscient deity. Since it was so different from anything we had encountered before, we named it God of Ghosts. And from then on, we all referred to it as the Dark One. Shouldn't be fucking with it. Did I, did I put something? I want s Can I put that there? What are we doing? Dark one, dark one, your presence is requested. Don't do it. Are you the dark one? Please, let Doc and Ahai leave here safely. No? No, no. Please, at least let me find Ahai. I'm begging you. Oh, 
Oh, it's a bad, bad thing to ask for. No way this is gonna happen. Oh, shit. Dark one, dark one, come to light. Dark one, he who rules the night. Hope it works. Huh? Uh, well, let me see. <laughs> be, be careful. <laughs> Doc? No. No. No! no. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Alright. So, unfortunately, we are out of time to continue this. So about We're about to hop down here in this crypt, I guess. But, again, we're going to end this video here. Uh, if you don't mind, please drop a like, subscribe if you feel like doing so. And uh, we will be picking up right here where we left off.